How do you approach the money side of things in your business? Do you come at things from a perspective of fear or do you approach money with a sense of optimism? This is a really juicy conversation that I've had with one of my clients over the last few days and we've kind of unearthed a lot of reasons why their approach to money is all based on fear. But the impact of that is that they also attract clients who have a very fear-based approach to money. So it means their clients tend to um, struggle with their prices or want to pay on slightly different payment terms or they struggle to make payments on time um, or they just struggle to invest at all in that service. Because what you'll find is that your approach to money is the same approach to money that you will attract in your own clients. So if you go through a run, for instance, of talking to people who just say they can't afford you, what that probably means is that you're being incredibly money sensitive at that point in time, that you're very concerned about spending money or investing money, and that's what you attract back to you. So I want to talk to you today about what it feels like to be in a fear place about money, how you can switch that to a more optimistic view and how that will then attract people who are going to be much more comfortable to invest in your service and much less likely to quibble about price or payment terms. So what should you think about? If you're in a fear-based place, that's a tongue twister, uh, when it comes to money, then you're likely to do things like Avoid paying invoices on standing order because you want to be in control. You want to make absolutely certain that there's always money in that account when the standing order is due. But what that says to you is that your approach to money is all based on the fact that maybe there won't be enough at some point and that's the overriding feeling that sits behind all your money decisions and is reflected in your clients. Um, it's things like watching every single penny that you spend. Now, don't get me wrong, I am not suggesting that you should be gung-ho with money, that you should throw it all around, that you should not care about what you spend, that you should go and chuck all your money out there and just assume that the universe is going to bring it back to you. You should absolutely have a sensible approach to money and be clear about what you're spending and why you're spending it. But what I'm suggesting is that you should be sensible and practical, but don't have the, the kind of reins and the chains on that so hard that you actually end up stifling money. So are you watching every single penny that you spend and always choosing the least expensive solution? Um, and are you avoiding investing in things like training, development, coaching, um, but anything that can help your business, uh, other people to support you or investing in some software or something like that. Do you constantly avoid investing because you've just got that underlying worry about what might happen with money in the future? So when you do these things, you will attract it back to you. So what can you do instead without going all guns blazing, gung ho and ending up bankrupt in 20 minutes? Um, think about just generally being more confident about money. Think about the fact that um, you are focusing more on what you're going to bring in than on what you're going to pay out. There is only ever so much that you could cut around what you spend, whereas the amount of money that you bring in is limitless or much less limited than the amount that you spend. So spend a lot more time focusing on what you can bring in than on what is going out. Um, just look to have a more confident approach to money. Think about what's coming in, think about what's likely to come in, think about what you're planning to bring in and help yourself to build that confident feeling around money. Look at the financial performance recently and reinforce yourself about your confidence around money. Um, and think about more often choosing the supplier that you think is the best one for your business. Don't always be looking for the cheapest prices or where you can cut costs. Look for the thing that you absolutely think is the best system or the best supplier for your business and spend that little bit more than the cheapest option or the baseline that you could stick to because this in itself turns into more confidence in money. When you become more of an investor, you attract other people who are much more likely to want to be an investor in you and your services as well. Um, and one of the really crucial things that you can actually do to boost your confidence around money and to attract more of it is become a good payer. 
Be somebody that regularly pays your invoices on time. Set things up by standing order so you don't even have to make the effort of making the payment. You don't have to go and actually um, authorise money going out of your bank account. It's just going to take care of itself. You are the type of person where money comes in, money goes out, it's all good, this is the way of the world. So pay more things by standing order um, and make sure you pay on time. If you want your customers to pay on time, you need to pay on time to make sure that you attract that back to you. So if you would love a little bit more help in terms of focusing on money and attracting the right kind of money and the right kind of spenders to your account, head over to my website, taylory.co.uk and get in touch about how I can help you.